Hi, this is Shannon from 8 Crazy Designs. Welcome. Um, with this tutorial, I'd like to teach you how to manage your categories. If you look over here on the dashboard on the left-hand side, you're going to click on Categories. And this blog is a test site, and so it already has categories in it. And with those categories that are already there, if you have pre-existing categories and this isn't a new site for you, um, you can always hover over the category itself and some options come up. You have edit, quick edit, and delete. And if you wanted to edit a category, you could click on edit. This would, would be the page that would come up. You could do a assign a parent category or um, fill in some SEO information about the category. Um, quick edit just all it really does you is allow you to rename the category and to add a slug. If you wanted to do a new category, then you would just type in the category name and you would click down here on add new category. However, if you would like to use your categories to build a hierarchy system, um, for example, in your nav bar menu, if you wanted um, to have the drop downs, you would use parent categories. An example of that would be let's say you had a site and you had a lot of recipes on your site. So you might have a category that was recipes, and then you might have a category that was main dishes, and you might have a category that would be casseroles. So recipes would be a parent category. For main dishes, you would go in, like let's say you had one that was main dishes. You would go in and you would assign it and you would choose the one that said recipes. So let's actually do that. Recipes, and we're gonna add a new category. And it comes up over here. And then we're gonna go main dishes. And we're gonna assign it the parent category of recipes. We're going to add new category. And then if we did casseroles, we would assign the parent category main dishes, add new category. And you can see right here, it does demonstrate how that hierarchy works. Recipes with the dash main dishes and then the double dash casseroles. So um, when getting your blog up and running, Structuring your categories is a really important thing. You want to actually stop and think about what are the main categories that you're going to be using. You really wouldn't want an ongoing list um, that went forever and ever because it's harder for your users to know how to search and find things. So really think through how you're going to structure your categories and think about whether or not you need them to be structured in a hierarchy manner and if parent and child categories are important to you. Thanks, that's it for this tutorial and we'll see you next time.